There comes a time in every young student's life when they have to do a final project and they don't know what to do even though it's worth a large portion of their grade. Until there is a spark of genius, and this here is that genius. My high school career has been filled with highs and lows, but mostly lows. So let's start. So back in freshman year, there was an issue with my science class placement. Like, I had four different classes, it was really stressful, I had no idea what happened, but eventually I got stuck with one. Unfortunately, the teacher was a jerk, and he had good reason to be. Me and my friend Camilo were both huge handfuls. We were talking class, make noises, speed, your average immature freshman. But one time I was actually trying to listen, and I told him to be quiet. Honestly, I shouldn't have talked, but you know what? Stuff happens. And because of that, my teacher caught me and sent me to detention. It was the only time I got detention. Most boring time of my life. It's like 45 minutes though. So back in eighth grade, I I decided to take French because everyone was asking everyone what class did they want to take. Everyone else said Spanish, and I decided to take French. I don't know why. I guess it was because I guess it's because it was the language of romance or something. I don't know. But that brought me into French class, obviously. I sat next to this girl. She was cool, cute, emo. Uh, let's call her Leslie. So me and Leslie had like a thing going on. Well, not really a thing thing, but more like kind of like a a flirtatious thing. Things would get saucy. I'm talking. I'm talking ketchup, mustard, and tartar sauce. And that was fun until my girlfriend went up to me and asked me what I was doing. Yeah, girlfriend. Mostly the lesbian. Oh well. But it made me really upset. Got me pissed. Slightly homophobic. But it also gave me help. My grades went down. By the line. Go to therapy. Do this therapy made me realize things that I didn't realize before. Hidden problems I didn't know that I had. And it also made me realize how good I was at drawing. That this video really isn't showing. Made me get friends online because they kind of helped me out and I made original characters, which gave me those friends. Those friends killed my homophobia, my temporary homophobia. But, moving on to later times, I met, I met this guy named G. He was around like, three other people, I can't really remember their names. They were cool. He was the coolest. He was chill, cool, cool, cool. And he looked like the embodiment of Frank Gio. And 
that's going to be it. There was one kid who was really into weed. He... I stayed away from him because I didn't want to get involved with that. I didn't want the weed to stick in my body. Because one, it would ruin my, my good reputation. And two, my mom was a cop, so that's not good. In sophomore year, I decided to do track, along with her friend. Now, track was an okay time for like two weeks, until I started dying, slowly and painfully. Like, really slowly. Now, there were some kids who were freaking quits over the situation. And how but they just work. So I decided to get these shoes with springs at the bottom. And they helped for a little bit, but not really. So I decided to quit track. I met these people in a club called Club Man. It was really nice. Until I decided to jump off a banister because a friend dared me. I landed in the bush and it it was okay, until the administrators came and then I went full on flash mode to get out of here. Then I tripped on the roof. Sprained my ankle, but luckily, since I have Wolverine super healing abilities, it took me only like two days to get better, and it would take three weeks. Then I saw a friend going outside, and I met this girl next to my friend. The name was Jessica. She's kind of short, whatever. She broke my heart. I was upset, crying, broken hearted. Told my friend Allison came up. She told me that she wanted to introduce me to this girl. Now, Allison was a huge nerd. Like any nerdy thing you could think of, she was into. And bands. So she told me to go to Asian Club, and I knew where it was because I was kind of a member already. I went inside and asked her what what was up, so she introduced me to the girl named Caroline. Now, she was amazing, and can't even describe how great she was. But we were so awkward because we didn't really like know what was going to be done. Later, there was a fire at my job. I went in and saved a bunch of people. Well, saved. There was one old, old person who had asthma. So I took off my, um, my uniform and used it as a filter to help her out. I wasn't that too sure it was that I texted her and told her the entire situation, and she was happy. So I uh, Fortunately, all good things come to an end, and she graduated. But whatever, we get through it, it's all good. On to senior year. Going through this tunnel, getting to the next station, it's over. I start a theater. Now, me and my friend did this little play about a lamp, two guys falling or whatever, it's, but we needed to find a lamp in the mud room. The mud room was this huge room, spooky, we had no idea what was lurking inside of it. I also decided to join Song Arms Club. Bad idea, bad idea. And finally, prom. Me and a few friends, Caroline, Sam, Jamie, and Paul. We went to this place called the Surf Club. Now the Surf Club is like this huge club that's in front of the beach. We took a limo there, 
Да, если нам нельзя, то отсюда возьмем, например. Он здесь танц. Вот, halfway. Я с кем-то здесь чилл на кауче. Но, когда вы танцем, Сэм просто смотрел на нас из-за стороны, просто играл. Не имел никакого. Или некоторые люди ходили на борьбах и на кроватях. The crew went home and me and Caroline just kind of sat in our separate beds until at 3 a.m. and just talked. And now we're going full circle. Four years of high school. It's time to give you some advice. Think this and challenge my guys. Ain't no two ass. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to fix, Whatever broken hearts you need to mend, just remember these simple rules. One, four years go by fast. Two, go to all your classes. Three, your friends you walk in with might not be the ones you walk out with. Four, focus on the classes, not on the asses. I know donkeys are cool, but getting an A is cooler. Five, if you suspect something spooky is going on, Don't check it out. Six. Don't be fooled. Joining a club may or may not be the best thing ever. Seven. Do not do drugs. Eight. Homework is important unless your teacher says so. Nine. The teacher will probably try to trick you. Ten. School sucks. They will prepare you for life because life sucks. Eleven. Don't be petty. Twelve. Every high school TV show you've ever seen lied in some aspect, especially Degrassi. The only people you will see who are that emo are freshmen who try to be cool. Thirteen. For the sake of all that is holy, don't try to be cool. Poison. You are not original for trying to imitate another person. And finally, use all these 14 rules and you, my friend, will, will be able to survive high school. Unless you do something stupid. Something violent that I will not say. Or else my teacher's gonna be mad at me when she sees this. Finally, good luck. Oh, you're a grandma.